Hello and welcome back to YCS Sydney 2017. We are moving into round three now. Um, we had a quick vote in the chat to see uh, see which match you wanted to see. Uh, I, I'd chosen Speed Warriors versus Metal Foes for you guys, but you wanted Fire Fist versus Dark Magician instead, um, which I'm just as happy to see. Yeah, I'm definitely happy about that. Yeah, however, you may continue to be having the issue that we haven't played this matchup very much. Uh, at least I know about Fire Fist. So. And I, well, I know a little bit about Dark Magicians, uh, but Alex Choi, who we interviewed yesterday, actually, um, is a Paleozoic Dark Magician player, not just... It's very um, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of his logic was actually really strong. Really, yeah, really strong. I think strong it has like, a lot of potential, so I'm actually keen to get into this and see how it goes. Yeah, so let's do exactly that. Let's yeah. jump straight over to the table. And here we go. So... Here we have Alex Choi on the left and Adam Cass on the right. Oh, those beautiful Dark Magician mats. And he's playing Dark Magician. And he's playing Dark Magician, yeah, exactly. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that is pretty good. <laughs> will I give just realised Will that. I give him extra luck? Guess we'll see. Yeah, exactly. We have to hope so. Actually, when we saw his deck yesterday, he was using original Dark Magicians, wasn't he? He wasn't I using, think so, he yeah. wasn't using uh, yeah. the one from the starter deck. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see exactly what goes on here. He's, he's definitely gonna love getting this mat too. Actually, yeah, oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet he is. Second time that uh, stuff like that. Either way. So, um, players quickly rolling some dice here. See who gets to go first, and we begin. So the Fire Fist player is actually playing Raven, uh, Boar, um, yeah, so you don't really see them a lot. Leopard as well. Yeah, Leopard. Oh, that's... Yeah, he's, he's playing all of the yeah. Fire Fist ones as well. It really a is a Fire Fist Fire... deck, because like, he's got everything. Yeah, it's definitely not, um, it's definitely not kind of, you know, any kind of amalgamation or anything is actually just pure Fire Fist. Mm. He's playing all of the spell cards, all the fire formations. Um, Horn of the Phantom Beast. Oh, I loved Horn of the Phantom Beast. He's main decking light and light and shadow imprisoning mirror. Yeah, uh, one of one of each. Which actually might come up. Yeah, it might yeah. actually come up in this in this um, matchup. Yeah. So we see uh, Alex summon uh, Magician's Rod. So yeah, Magician's Rod is able yeah. to go get Magician's Navigation, and then the Dark Magic Circle is going to gain him even more advantage here. So he's able to reveal a spell. Ooh, Alex Troy opened double Dark Magician in his opening hand. That's rough. Mm. <laughs> you don't really want to draw damage and you yeah, want to go and no. search for them. So he's adds the illusion magic. He's going to probably set illusion magic, set um, the strike, and then he must have had one more, uh, one more back row which we don't know yet. So he's going to start with leopard. Oh yeah, leopard was played. It was played in. Uh, Three axis fire fist. Yeah. It was the. Uh, isn't it like Moroni Captain or something? Uh, you distribute it off and then you set. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you yeah. go like tanky, add spirit, and then. Yeah. It sets up the, um, the, yeah. the main the, combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The synchro player. Yeah. So he's getting the tensu, which means he probably has tanky in his hand. So yeah. He's able to get spirit. Uh, he actually yeah. has. Well, he just wants to be able to yeah. make another normal yeah. summon, doesn't he? With tensu. Which I would imagine might be spirit. Yeah. So he now flips over the Magician's Navigation so that he can summon his Dark Magician. That Dark Magician is then going to be able to use its Dark Magic attack on the back row thanks to the Magician's Circle. So he's going to be able to banish the Tensu. So Alex Choi coming out of the blocks here. Yeah. Uh, he also got um, Magician of Dark Illusion, is that what it's called? I believe so. Seven, yeah. yeah, Magician of yeah. Dark Illusion? Yeah. Yes, Magician of Dark Illusion. Yeah. Yeah, which allows for all sorts of fun stuff. So the Tensu does get banished? Yeah. He actually has Shadow Mirror in his hand, so if he went first, that could have been... He has got Shadow Mirror yeah, in his hand? Yeah, he does. Wow, okay. Wow, that's really good. He also has the warning, so if he went first, that could have been uh, yeah, really crazy really stuff. Deadly. Yeah. Still, I think there's still potential. Um, I mean, at this point, he's, you know, Alex Choi has got serious board control. He really does, yeah. So it's not like... It's not like Adam Cast is going to be able to, you know, just flip over Shadow Mirror and yeah, no. be done with it. It's, you know... And he's only playing one, yeah. right? Correct? Yeah, just one Shadow oh, Mirror. Oh, man. 
you must be like that's, yeah. that's pretty uh, heart of the cards yeah. if I ever heard it I bet you wish you won the dice roll yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, lucky to get it but not lucky, lucky enough to get the dice roll as well so we see Dumb Edition going in yeah, so that's going to just be free to go in there. He does have the warning, but that's not really going to do much against uh, these attacks. Yeah. So... Yeah, so sure Magician's Rock. Goes in, and then uh, Magician, Magician of Dark Illusion. Illusion. Go in as well. I think, it's, I think it's, it's, not, it's not got that many attack moves. It's only... A, it's less than 2,000. Or oh, is it the same as not Magician? Uh, no, I, I... I know Rod is weaker, but... 2100, okay, yeah. yeah. I knew it was around 2000. Yeah. It's definitely not as strong as the original yeah, Dark Magician. No. He, he is the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Mm -hmm. So we see the rooster coming down? Yeah, uh, yep, that's rooster. So we're going to see rooster revive the leopard. Uh, no, that's. Um, that's oh, am I just going to get completely He's going to oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. activate the trap. Yeah, assuming yeah, yeah. He wants to. And then he can, like, send it and add another one. But. Doesn't look like he's under there, he's gonna attack. Yeah, maybe he's got uh, that Horn of the Phantom Beast that he's yeah, got yeah. in his deck as well. So, yeah. Yeah, I believe he has that set. May we proceed to the damage step, sir? The answer is yes. <laughs> so, um, that's ten. Is it Tenson? Or Tenken? I can't remember which one it is. I think Ten Ken was the one that the, gives attack points. Yeah. 700 attack points or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's, always, it's 100 less than Horn of the Phantom Beast. Horn of the Phantom Beast yeah. was 800. Yeah, I remember that because um, you would always be able to get uh, Tech Genus Warwolf up to 2000 mm. with it. Back then was really, really good. Yeah, so oh, Adam... Storm Strike's going to get rid of uh, the Rooster too, which yeah. is very unfortunate. So he tried to uh, send... Uh, Use effect. Yeah, Tencent or Tenken, and then try to add like a Tenku yeah. or a Tensu, but yeah. yeah. The strike yeah, I'll in. try here perfectly in control. Yeah. So draws into another card, but doesn't look like he's going to need it. His opponent's only on 1,800. Yeah. You know, may maybe it's worth kind of safely, safely trying to get through that back row. Yeah. Oh, oh, it has the mirror force. But Magician's Navigation yeah, is going to be able to save his Dark Magician. He's a tricky one, that yeah. Dark Magician. Old school cards coming in too. Yes, yeah, yeah, seriously yeah. old school cards. Mirror force that, gets Dark Magician. That is an original Dark Magician. Yeah. From the from the first Yugi starter deck. Wow, and that's uh, it. Yeah, Dark Magicians one. take it. Didn't we have to see wow. the Paleozoic, so Yeah, we yeah, we yeah. didn't even see the Paleozoic. That was just the Dark Magician engine just going to town. Yeah, it shows how strong it is. Playing your opponent's turn is very powerful. Yeah. Especially in Dark Magicians. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> okay, so let's see if um, either of these guys have anything for the side decks. Uh, something interesting is that Adam Cast actually has fifteen different cards in his side deck. So Which you do not see a lot. No, you don't see no. a lot. He does have another uh, another pair of the mirrors, so he has another shadow mirror that he can put in. Yeah. Bumps up to two. Yeah, and then pr probably he's probably going to go down from the one light mirror to, to just two shadow mirrors. Yeah. What's it, Dragon? He, he's playing Dragon Capture Jar. This is some serious retro <laughs> stuff we got going on here. Dragon Capture Jar, I love that card. He has breakthrough skill he could bring in. Don't know if that's... Yeah. Fiendish Chain. Uh, Alex Choice side deck though, he has three anti spell fragrance, Gamma Seals, Flying Seed, Twin Twister, uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherry system down, and Wing Dragon of Ross Spear Mode, which would be interesting wow. to see, but I, <laughs> yeah. I don't see it coming in. So, yeah, for the, for the people who are saying, is this table 400 or 500 or whatever, um, no, this is actually. Table 70, so at this point, um, that's probably X, XO in, yeah. in, this, mm. in this tournament here. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not like we're picking the bottom tables here. This is just very interesting decks that are making their, ways, uh, making their way through. So I would assume Antispell could come in, probably not. Uh, well, maybe, just because of the, the, the interactions that it has with the Fire Formation cards. Yeah, but I don't know if you would think he's going first or second, because sometimes people don't bring it in if they know they're not going first. Well, yeah, see, so this is my eternal argument, that I think that when, when people have won game one, they should take that risk of, of yeah. kind of putting in 
super kind of floodgate -y cards like anti spell fragrance where they're able to just you know yeah i tend just to win i tend to just want to like go pure consistency but again yeah no no we I, don't know i think it's a yeah, choice we don't know he may think he may be going first yeah i think it's a choice that you can make where you just you know you, you can you can choose to kind of riskily yeah. get that kind of you know sneak that win in so we have a hands here we should get them soon so Alex Troy probably not going to start here. Adam Cast is probably going to start just because he wants to get get through uh, some of his fire fist combos. And just waiting for the hands to come through. Yeah, let's see. So actually, he lets uh, he lets Alex Troy start here. So Dark Magician Circle. Let's see what it can bring us. So that allows you to add one one uh, Dark Magician card, or a card that mentions Dark Magician in its name. But did he get one? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's let's see, see what he got. Let's see. Doesn't look like he did, and he sets three. That's always the trouble yeah. with, uh, with Dark Which Magician. Which is uh, Warning, Eternal Soul, and a Phalozoic uh, Mar Marilla. Nice. Marilla, Marilla, yeah. Marilla, yeah. Which is going to activate uh, straight away, and he's stand with it. Yeah. So he's actually got some decent plays here, because he can... Yeah, so he sent uh, Pekaya down into the graveyard there. So that means that if he starts playing stuff like Eternal Soul, he can... He can summon back those Paleozoic monsters. And he's got a couple of them, so that's nice. So we get to see the Paleozoic engine coming in. Yeah, so we weren't, we weren't uh, joking. Oh yeah. So the Fire Fist player has Tanky, Gorilla, Bear, uh, War, uh, Mirror Force, and Vanny's Emptiness. And, yeah. So we could see... I could search for Leopard to get it. Oh, he has T. He drew Tensu. So, it does get Leopard. So we could be seeing the Spirit combo here. Yeah. Actually, no, because he tankied it, so we probably won't. Oh yeah, so he's not yeah. going to be able to go, go all the way into that now. Yeah. Unless he does have... Um, I don't know, he does have uh, Tensu in hand. Yeah, I don't think he has Spirit though. But he can still make Rainfall plays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he can still make some stuff. So, some is a Gorilla. Yeah. yeah, Gorilla's got pretty decent attack points. Uh, good, 16, but I believe it'll be up to 18. Yeah. So 18 is pretty big. Um, uh, he's going to... Yeah, snipe one of those back rows. Yes, yeah, it's so the it's warning. warning. Yeah, blindly targets the warning. Nice. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good shot. Yeah. Uh, second all summon for the leopard. Going to attribute it off. Yeah. So yeah, that's his second summon. Does he play? Probably going to set one of the trap cards just to defend. He could his, play. Uh, yeah, I was going to say he could activate, set the spell that is going to lock down his back row. Oh, a uh, Gyaku. Yeah, but I don't know if he plays it. Yeah, he just played just one. Yeah, just one Gyaku. But he decides to go with one of the trap cards. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. I think it, I think it was Tenkin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think Te Tenson was the one we saw uh, last game, and then Tenkin. Yeah. So. I... Yeah. So, just tried to summon an extra time. Tenson yeah. was not that good. <laughs> If only. Yeah, if only. Extra two normal summons would be nice. Yeah, that would be very nice. <laughs> so, he's going to attack with the gorilla. And I'll not give you any sound effects for that. <laughs> and he'll take the damage. And imagine he'll now set uh, the vanities and the mirror force. And the vanities could put a lot of work in. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially against Dark Magician. Yeah, that's a lot of back rows to be facing. Mm -hmm. So another Dark Magic Circle comes in. Yeah. So... Didn't get anything. Didn't get anything. Yeah, yeah that's a shame. So, um, the Magician's Navigation just not showing up here. So, 
Alex Choi here. So there's a bit of a loss. He's going uh, to choose to uh, just snap on the back row. Yeah. Well, he's, he's not going to have monsters to be able to take much of an advantage mm. of that, So he's going to take out those back rows. Um, he's going to strike it. it. Yeah. I guess, you know, it's 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 a, there's no point not striking it, yeah, to be honest, because um, Gorilla has more than 1,500 attack yeah. points, so he would have taken 1,800 from the attack anyway. Oh, but he has the has spirit. spirit. Yeah, That's... wow. So he can go and get Leopard. Start the combo. Yeah. Into a Horse Prince, was it? Is yeah. it Horse Prince? Yeah. yeah. And then... Which then allows him to add one, I think. Yeah. Yep. I was making a rank three for a second. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. I was like, okay, what, what are we, what are yeah. we thinking? So we see horsemen's coming down. Been a while since I've seen this card. So he's going to use effect to special summon a rooster. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I, it was such a long time ago that um, that I play, that I played fire fists. Yeah. Yeah. Well. To be honest, I, to when, when when back when back when I was playing I, when I, I was playing Five Fist, I didn't actually be able to get any wolf barks because uh, they were too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Speaking of wolf bark, you just add it, which he can't. So he's gonna have to go back and probably get a bear. I don't know, James. So yeah. Because yeah. it is a fire, a uh, Five Fist monster, not a uh, beast warrior. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna get another spirit. Yeah, which uh, well plays for next turn. Yeah, exactly. That's yep. a good play for next turn. You can even make a uh, Lion Emperor next turn if he wants to. Yeah. So he still has that vanity set. So things are looking good for Adam. Yeah, definitely. So we may see this game tie up to one one. So it looks like he's done surging. Or well, perhaps he's drawing some cards. Yeah. yeah. There's always a chance, there's always yeah. a chance to come back. Let's see where we go with this. If he has a set uh, formation, which I think he does. He has the trap that he set. Yeah, he, tried, he set Tenken. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if that's continuous, which it might not be. I don't think um, it is. No, I don't think the trap cards yeah. are. I think only the spell cards are. Because if it was, he could send it to get like a Tenki or a Tensu. Yeah. But, yeah. So I figure probably just direct attack here is probably the best bet. Yeah, just What's gonna go happen in. anyway. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've, we're getting a bit of an extended judge call here, I've just been told, so um, yeah, let's talk a little bit, a bit more about their side decks here, so let's just have a look at his Fire Fist side decks. Got so many different cards in, uh, he's got a Fire Fist Hawk, Flying Sea, Gold Sarcophagus, Circle of the Fire Kings, that's a bit, a bit random. Ultimate Fire Formation Sato. A lot of these cards I don't know. Like a lot of these Fire Fist cards. Yeah, yeah, he's using pretty much all of the mm. Fire Fist cards. Oh, back ah, to so us. back to okay. us, sweet. I should stop slouching. I'm slouching. <laughs> slouching. Good, good. We're up, we're up. We're ready to go. So yeah, um, so I'm, I'm, I was also being informed that our second feature match, so we got these deck lists over ah, here. Right. So we're moving straight so we're No, no, we're not, we're not moving on. I'm just, just having okay. a look at their deck lists. So yeah, Speedroid... Um, it is just Speedroid Kaiju, guys. It's not like it's... Yeah, nothing really. You know... You know, sometimes sometimes we call you know a deck that's like Metal Foes or something uh, with Speed Roys and Kaiju's. Then you know it's one of those things where we, we you know say it's that, but no. Uh, um, actually, yeah, I'm yeah. told that we're going straight back into the future match here. So, so back to it. Yeah. So we see uh, Eternal Soul, Soul being Soul, yeah. activated, chaining uh, Pikaia, and Vanity is being activated. I yeah. imagine that's what happened. But he, get, he's, he gets to chain Pikaia to emptiness. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he's not allowed yeah, to chain. Yeah, we kind of got thrown back into it, so I'm sure. Yeah. Yep, but that would make more sense. Yeah. And then Magician's Rod, so he's going to be able to go and search for another dark magi 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 Magician's Rod, yeah. Magi 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 <laughs> into a dark magical circle. Adding illusion magic. So you could see the comeback here uh, from yep. Alex Choi. 
Potentially. Bit of a lockdown here. Yeah, it is. I, I love the, the, the new uh, Magician's cards. They just look so cool, don't they? I, I like how it's kind of, it looks like Dark Magician, but then, like, you know, various yeah. bits are kind of faded out a bit. Magician's Rod looks really cool. Yeah, the artwork's really good for these yeah. things, yeah. Really nice. Like that, and what's the other one? The robe as well. Not, not many people play it. Mm. People, people literally only play the rod, they don't play any other ones, but. So that's Tenken, yeah, so let's see uh, what Tenken is. I can't actually remember, I don't think it was one of the ones that was. Um, it was played very much back when Fire Fists were kind of big. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. There was, there was a guy at our locals named Adam who used to play Fire Fist all the time. And he played all of the funky Fire Fist uh, cards. Yeah. All the crazy ones? Yeah. I just can't remember them. So um, you can activate during main phase one. When it gets activated, you target a Beast Warrior. Um, during the main. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, so you activate during your main phase one. Uh, you target a beast warrior during the during that main phase its effect gets negated also it's unaffected by all other cards apart from it and all beast warriors gain 300 attack points so he activates the and fly it, squad it is continuous oh yeah, oh, yeah sweet supply uh, squad wow squad and summons the bear so What's what year is this yeah right some crazy cards coming down supply squad i remember when supply squad was in the ocg it was so good. Mm. I can't even remember what deck it was, but it was so good. Could it have been Yang Zing? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, was it? Yang yeah. Zing's. Yeah. Oh, I know that was so a, big, a big thing. In what, do you know what's really strange? I, I think of Supply Squad, and I, I thought of actually one of, one of my, my local friends who played played Supply Squad, and then I couldn't. I just couldn't remember which deck he used to play. Yeah. <laughs> even but, when it wasn't very good in that deck anymore, mm. he continued to kind of really really play it because the OCG played it yeah. and he got really you know quite a lot of success with it even though you know people told him that it wasn't wasn't good anymore so we see a bunch of attacks coming through and Alex Choi will scoop it up well it was game anyway yeah and so, we're going to game three wow so yeah we thought we might get on to our second feature match maybe not yeah So yeah, I think um, I think Alex Choi here was a, a little bit unfortunate with those dark magical circles. So crazy going through yeah. the side deck and like it's all like it's just like one of each yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like trying to identify them yeah. by, by multiples, yeah. and it's just like no, 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 you can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so going to game three here again, we've had uh, we've had a couple of matches where it's kind of you know the matchup is just impossible. So he's shuffling up here. Uh, Alex Choi will probably decide to go first, and I do see the anti spells coming in this time. Can't go wrong with a bit of anti spell. Yeah. Is that what like this lockdown? Uh, all the fire test monsters, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's a good. Ch it's yeah. a very good choice to bring it in now. But will only lock down for the turn. He can still make come back. So if he does have it, he's going to want to have some more backup for the card. Yeah, because five fists can, even if they're setting stuff, can just go off like the turn after if you don't put yeah. damage on. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. I think that's the that's the the fear with um, with with anti spell. You you sometimes play it even you know if, if you just draw a bunch of side deck cards, then you know what 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 good is it leaving your opponent um, you know just to destroy your next yeah. turn. Pretty much. So head into game three. Yeah. So and it's being drawn. Alex Troy probably gonna go first here. I would imagine so, yeah. So let's see, does he open that spell? So 
So double supply squad opener for the five fist player, as well as circle of the five things. Oh, is that onslaught? Onslaught of Yeah, it's only onslaught, onslaught of yeah. And then our Paleozoic Dark Magician player opening Maxi Storm Strike, Dark Magical Circle, the Dark Magician himself, and a Paleozoic Olenotis. Yeah, so so out Troy, few few back rows. Lost the Dark magic, Magical Circle. And then Fire Fist is going to start out with like, I think both double supply squads. Supply squads. Well, yeah. yeah. When you've got like two supply squads, sometimes it's good to just start like ramming your yeah. losses into your opponent and just be like, yeah, please destroy them. I want more cards, thanks. Yeah. So I'm gonna summon the gorilla. So Adam Shaw does have strike set and uh, the MST Palazoic. So this could potentially just be a beatdown of Gorilla. Yeah, just yeah. Gorilla going in. You only got to you only got to attack him four times or so. Mm. Four, five times. Oh, that's a pretty good. Mm. Yeah, it's, it is exactly five times, but with with other things as well. Uh, yeah, so there's the Magician's Rod. Going to get another Dark Magical Circle. Oh, he's going to get Magician's Navigation, which is good because he does have Dark Magician in hand. So. Yeah. Yeah, which is going to allow him to make some seriously good plays. And then I believe the circle will let him banish a card when he summons the magician. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. And um, he's able to get the magician of dark illusion as well, which will yeah. also banish a card. Is Magician's Rod 1600? Put him. Is Magician's Rod 1600? Um, no, I think it is 1600, yeah. So, but all it's going to take is one of those fire formation cards to put yeah. Adam Cass's Gorilla over the top of that Magician's Rod. I think I'm pretty sure it's 1600. Let's, go, let's have a double check. So he's going to use a Palazog MST. He's going to... Target the onslaught. So yeah, the, our secondary feature match just finished, and the uh, Metal Fuzz player beat the Speedroid player. So Isaac Coleman Man going on um, undefeated. So we do see the crash, which means. Both supply squads will actually activate, allowing Adam to yeah, draw two cards. Draw two cards, and the monster got destroyed. The rod got destroyed. So, so Adam Cass actually got to draw three cards here. Yeah, so I think Alex uh, definitely thought about that play to figure out if that was the right play. Yeah. I think he thought about it long enough to know that he should be safe. But then again, as we yeah. saw in the uh, past feature match. Uh, drawing cards can definitely... Drawing cards does stuff, it's, yes. Yeah, it's definitely a thing that you probably shouldn't let your opponent do. So, see to main phase one, and MST Stop. comes down. Yeah. So Probably he's gonna navigation. Yeah. Uh, we didn't actually get to see what he targeted with that MST, but... Gonna chain the notice as well on the top of the magician's navigation, which is nice. That's some nice combos. There's a dark magician, as well as the magician of dark illusion. Yep. Wow. Suddenly, as soon as you resolve that magician's navigation, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's a wow. Very, very powerful card indeed. And it activates in your opponent's turn as well, which is really strong.
So then, yeah, when all's said and done, um, that dark magical circle is going to activate and start causing some real havoc. Mm -hmm. Allow him to banish. I made you banish the face down. Yeah. Because with no monsters. No, he's just going to start yeah. banishing all of his stuff. So hits the mirror force. Yeah. Yeah, and we kind of forgot in you know in quotes here that it was Adam's turn because yeah. you know the dark magician got to, dark magician got to play so much stuff. Uh, getting at the wolf bark, so yeah. some rank four plays. Yeah, perhaps coming up. First one of the game. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So he has got Utopia the Lightning, so he can get over Dark Magician. Still, Alex Troy here has got plenty of stuff. Yeah, he's in a good position. Yeah, and he's got the Magician Navigation in the graveyard yeah. as well now. Which is nice. Do you see the wolf bar coming out? Yep, so I'm gonna go and summon that grill. Dropping the maxi. Maxi, yeah. Oh wow, so that's that's really gonna uh, cause some issues for Adam here. Let's see what he decides to go into with his rank four play. It's gotta be something pretty impactful. It could be Rebellion, it could be... Actually, oh, I don't think it has an engrave. Because you could make... Uh, the Fire Fierce actually the bounces stuff, but I don't think he has what he needs in Graveyard for that to work. Yeah. 101, that'd be a real throwback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he decides to go Tiger King. Yeah, and goes and straight, straight into a strike. Just unfortunate. So, yeah, that's... Probably gonna be all she wrote here for the turn of Adam Cass. Not gonna lie, Excite on Night would have been a good choice. Yeah. But unfortunately, that's not allowed. Yeah. Some someone in chat also just asked, what year is this? Yeah. A lot of throwbacks. Yeah, it's it's, really, it's always nice to yeah. see. Yeah, uh, like to see supply decks, squads uh, even a throwback. Yeah, supply yeah. squad. Um, the that classic mirror force. We 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 had so many different mirror forces come out now. Um, that you know sometimes it's you know it gets forgotten the original mirror force. Mm. Like so many new mirror forces we have. It's like yeah, it's like, yeah. When you see the original, you're like whoa. Yeah, blazing. I like blazing. What's your favorite mirror force? I like blazing. Mirror I think I think I like drowning. I just like, drowning mirror force. I like putting yeah. things face down. Yeah, like, Book of Eclipse is good. Like I just yeah. like yeah. I just like I I think the artwork on blazing mirror force is really cool. yeah. They all have really fire. good artworks. So yeah, they yeah. yeah. It's really Consider cool. considering how mirror force is kind of a limited artwork of what it is. You know, yeah, it's, like a, it's just a curve. Yeah. with some stuff bouncing off it. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's really very creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very creative. Yeah. Different mirror forces. So I believe that he tried to chain um, Digit of Dark Illusion to the strike, and I think yeah. they're trying to figure out if you can do that. Yeah, so I'm going to get our judges in here. We have our Australian OP coordinator stood right in front of us. We're gonna, I think we're going to wave. We're going to wave. <laughs> he waved back, just so you guys know. I would have to. <laughs> now he's doing. Now he's doing fun things. Now he's running away. Can we? Can we, can we bring up? Uh, can you show me like uh, Dark Illusion? Illusion? Magician of Dark Illusion. Yes. Um, it's a really interesting card, Magician of Dark Illusion. Oh, it seems like they've resolved it anyway. It does a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. But it does so, um, so for, to begin with, it, it's Dark Magician while on the field, so it pretends to be Dark Magician. Um, and then there's a couple of effects that you can do once per turn. So during your opponent's turn, if you activate a spell or trap, uh, you can special summon it from your hand. And uh, if it's if a spell or trap is activated while it's on the field, you can target a Dark Magician in your graveyard and special summon it back. So, oh, he goes into uh, Ebon, Ebon Illusion. Yeah. Love that card, actually. It's really, really good card. Yeah. Yeah. I had to bring out Dark Magician. Yeah, we got a perfect angle on it, actually. It's super shiny. Yeah. And how much is your AK? This should be game? No, because I think it was 2 1. 
I don't think he's going to be able to do the full yeah, I don't 8, think it's okay, yeah. He's going to struggle. Unless he switches that all notice to attack mode. Yeah, yeah, I think that's enough. 20, 21, I think Ebon's at least 2 5. Yeah, that should be it. should be enough. If, is, not, yeah. if not very close. Yeah. It's at least 7,400. The very least. And even if he doesn't have game here, he can make uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon and just put him <laughs> on till, yeah. Wow. So that, if he does no, anything, he could just lose by <laughs> burn. That would be really good. So, yeah. That would be interesting to see. Yeah. So yeah, oh okay, yeah, he just calls it a day. So yeah. Alex Choi believed in the heart of the cards and they, there he goes with Dark Magicians. Wow, what a really crazy game. We didn't see a lot of Powers of Alex, but they were definitely there, they definitely No, helped. they definitely made a difference, yeah. yeah. So let's, let's talk a little bit more about that uh, during our post-match discussion. And we're back. So, um, you know, that was the match you guys voted for. That's a very, very interesting match. Um, Fire Fist versus Dark Magician, Paleozoics. Yeah. I guess. Very so, yeah. Uh, we actually had um, Alex. So, both players we've interviewed yeah. yesterday yeah. won their feature yeah, matches. Both went on to win, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's pretty interesting. Mm. So, yeah. What, what, oh, yeah. What, what was I going to say? I think uh, any, any player that we've ever on stream in Europe done a deck profile with never won the YCS. Really? So yeah. we're getting a new streak going in Australia. Yeah, so yeah. that's a, that's a that's a pretty yeah, pretty uh, good start to yeah. the to the you know breaking of that curse. And um, yeah, I think the only one that we ever had was Billy Brick who kind of you know yeah. he didn't do a deck profile, so you know yeah. that's sticking to the rules. <laughs> so yeah, I think um, the you know that was a really interesting match and I think the best person to tell us about it's going to be Alex himself. Yeah. So let's um, let's shoot to a very short break. And then we're going to have Alex back to be able to tell us about his match. So 
Welcome back to YCS Sydney 2017. We're here with Alex Choi. How's it going, man? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice. So we just watched your feature match, and of course you won, which is good. So, Dark Magician Paleozoic. So, I know we deck profiled you like yesterday, mm -hmm. which we'll be showing. So, this is going to the matchup, because I'll see your deck profile. Uh, Fire Fist, what was your mindset when you saw that? Um, the usual Fire Fist format type of stuff. Uh, tanky, bear, wolf, uh, Wolf? Wolf. Yeah, the Coach Wolf Club. Yep. And uh, those usual plays that five, uh, five Fists usually do, it's uh, very simple. As long as you know how, uh, if you've played it before, you pretty much know how to play against it in the future. Yeah, makes sense. Was it like a uh, surprise seeing Fire Fists? Like system down? Was it down uh, supply squads? Um, it, okay, the supply squads were a bit interesting uh, because normally Fire Fists uh, don't really, uh, depending on their destruction, uh, it's okay in a way, but. Uh, it kind of mm, it gives you free draws in a way. That's the only thing that actually works. But on that, uh, slide squad is not really much of a surprise. It's uh, it's used in most decks that uh, that destroy stuff. Pretty much. Pretty much. So uh, talk us through um, Paleozoics. Like, 
why I bring them in and uh, like we didn't see like totally awesome or anything but like yeah. talk about like the synergy with it and lots of the stuff the Palexoics part? yeah okay yeah. Uh, with the Palexoics uh, they you know how well if you know uh, or anyone knows uh, basically Palexoics activate in res uh, when they're like trap they're trap monsters they activate uh, when you after you set them or well, well, for a turn, I'm saying. You have to wait a turn, and it's like normal traps type of activations. Uh, with Palazoics, they each have their, with the ones I chose to put in, they each have their own uh, uniqueness to it. So, for example, uh, I think it's, is it not Alonodius? I don't, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I think Alonodius is the uh, send to the grave one. Yeah. No, it's Morel. Oh, wait, no, it's Morel. Yeah. Uh, Alonodius is the. Uh, no, that's not, that's not Alonodius. Oh, no, this is the it's, it's there. Oh, it's the MST, yeah. yeah. Okay, each one has their own thing. So M the MST one, the Alonodius. Al 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 Let's call it MST. MST, fine, yeah. let's go. I'll just <laughs> refer him to him. Um, I do it all the time. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, yeah. The names are... Yeah. 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 Okay, with the MST and Palazoic. Uh, if you have Magician of Dark Pollution in your hand, uh, in combination with this, pretty much you MST their uh, back rows, and then you can activate Rod during the same turn. So, uh, sorry, Dark Pollution during yeah. the same turn. No uh, magician, and then you will pretty much, if you have a, a Dark Magician Circle in, on the field, you pretty much have a free uh, MST and a, also a banished one, banish one. So you pretty much get rid of two leg cards in one turn, on their turn. Uh, with uh, uh, Dynamiscus, that's the Karma Cut one I believe, uh, that one allows you to control fields and also uh, your opponent's field as well. Uh, also with uh, Dynamiscus, the uh, Karma Cut one, uh, if you have a Dark Magician hand, like I think I've done it on the live stream, I'm not too sure if I did that. Uh, but pretty much, if you have Dark Magician hand, you can send it, of course. And also, with other stuff, if you need stuff in the graveyard to activate, like your other traps and that, you can uh, use Dynamiscus for that as well. So it's pretty much a uh, free setup for the grave for uh, Dynamiscus. Morel, as uh, you pretty much send your, like I think I said before on the uh, deck profile thing, uh, yeah, I just, yeah. Yeah, you pretty much set up for your uh, trap plays. Ah, well, uh, yeah, well, awesome. Uh, deck clearly has good synergy. Uh, maybe the people at home want to try it out. Uh, would you recommend it? Um, it if you play Dark Magician or Paleozoics, it's worthwhile to mash them up together to actually uh, give it a shot. It actually is not that bad. It's actually more a regular Dark Magician. A regular Dark Magician deck is actually very spell heavy. If uh, I've noticed from time to time. Yeah. Uh, but with Paleozoics, it allows you to actually do stuff more. But you there is a chance of actually breaking yeah, quite a bit, like I did in game two. I did yeah. I didn't draw a rod until yeah. like And the vanity is kinda of like what you out. Uh yeah. vanity's yeah, it was a pain. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you got um done a miscus, you could have banished it, but like yeah, just Yeah, but I didn't draw it at times. Yeah. 